Lesson 130, the dative of possession. So, in this lesson, we're going to introduce to you a new way of showing possession. The way you've learned about it so far has always involved the genitive case or the verb habeo, like in our example at the top of this lesson. That's right. And as we've said before, there are always multiple ways to say the same thing in any language. And as you might guess, this new way of showing possession is going to involve the dative case because it's called the dative of possession. So it kind of gives it away. Right. And so just to give you a sneak preview, the form that this sentence will take if we were to translate it directly into English would be something like, there is to me a horse. Of course, of course, you shouldn't write your answers like this. You should translate it as, I have a horse, because it's best while translating to put it into English, we understand. You should only use this, there is to me kind of language in an intermediate step to help you understand the Latin grammar. Right, that's a literal translation of, you know, when we put this kind of sentence together in Latin, that's a literal translation of how it will read. So, uh, practice those sentences at the bottom of the lesson uh, where it says, there is to me a book, there is to me a brother, there is to me money. Right, and in the next lesson, you'll see how we do these with Latin words.